is Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Jason Snodgrass. We'd also like to welcome several special guests who are with him this evening. These include the members of the Board of Education, Tim Brown, Diana Rice, Kelly Scott, David Shrout, Kurt Stobart. and Vice President Sharon Dankenbrink and President Floyd Hawkins. <laughs> Fort Osage High School Principal Scott Moore. Fort Osage High School Activities Director Ryan Sharks. Assistant Superintendent Dr. Steve Morgan. Director of Facilities Brandon Tucker. Representing the Yes Yes Committee, Chairman Jim Jamis. Representing the City of Independence, Mayor Eileen Weir, City Manager Zach Walker, and Community Lia Liaison Specialist John Mayfield, and Councilman Scott Roberson. <laughs> representing the City of Levesee, Glenn Deepman. Representing the City of Sibley, Troy Jeffries. Representing the Jackson County Legislature, Fort Osage alumni Tony Miller. Representing the DLR group, who were the architect for the project, Andy Anderson. Representing Crosslink Construction, the project superintendent, Darren Haas. Representing George K. Baum, the bonding consultant for the project, Joe Kinder. Also with us this evening are the four scoreboard sponsors, and we'd like to thank them for their sponsorship and their continued support of the district. Representing Central Bank of the Midwest, Tony Yarborough. Representing McDonald's, Jody Ward. Representing Matt Port Sales, Ryan Matt. And representing Centerpoint Medical Center, who soon uh, sign will arrive soon, Gabe Clements. Most importantly, we're excited about the number of students who will utilize and benefit this district stadium. Representing the girls' soccer team, Bailey Summers. Representing the boys' soccer team, Jorge Herrera. Representing the Red and White Brigade, Hannah Cavanaugh. Representing the Indianettes, Megan Woods. Representing the cheerleaders, Cheyenne Freeman. Representing the boys track team, Colin Camerling. Representing the girls track team, Amari Grimes. Representing the football team, Pati Tairi. Representing the cross country team, Hayden Astride. At this time, I would like to reintroduce Dr. Snodgrass for a few remarks. I want to welcome you this evening for this special occasion here at Fort Osage. This is certainly a historic event. We are so proud that you're here to recognize us and celebrate this with us. Isn't this a great event? Give us a round of applause. This would not be possible without the patrons who went out in April 2017 and voted yes for this project. This is a no tax increase bond issue and it is amazing to see the results and the people who will be able to really uh, be, get excited and utilize this facility in years to come. We really left no stone unturned with this project. There were so many people, not only people behind me, but people in the stands who really sat down and really made, put a lot of thought in this project. And we are extremely proud and hope the community can use this for years to come. We are not only excited about the students that, will, that you were mentioned here today, but also, also youth activities that will be utilized annually. So thank you so much for being here and we want to make sure that we recognize again, go Indians!
would now like to dedicate the stadium with the ribbon cutting. Now, Dr. Snodgrass, would you please cut the ribbon to officially open the new district stadium?